When you become a small business owner, you take on a lot of responsibility. This includes developing a brand reputation and the way others see you and think about you and your brand. So you take a lot of care of what you post on social media for you, for you and your business. And today I want to make sure that as an entrepreneur, you're also taking care of yourself while you're taking care of your business as well. Hey there, and welcome to the Marketing 101 for Small Business Owners podcast. I am your host, Philippa Channer, and I'm a content marketing strategist. I love helping entrepreneurs and small business owners create, implement, and measure their marketing plans and content strategies. And I started this channel to help small business owners like yourself take control of their marketing and get more effective results. And for the month of May, in honor of mental health awareness, I'm sharing a small series on the effects and the impact of marketing and social media and how they can affect our, our mental health and our emotional health. So over these four weeks, I'm going to be touching on different ways both the consumption and content creation of marketing messages can impact and how they can affect our mental health. And today we're going to continue the series discussing how being an entrepreneur or marketer can affect our mental health. All right, so in recent years, the mental health of entrepreneurs, marketers, and content creators, it's all becoming a major concern. See, the mental health of these professionals are just as important as their physical health. It's crucial to take care of your mental health in order to provide a healthy workplace for your employees. But when you have so much responsibility on your shoulders, it can be tough. You have a multitude of concerns running through your head, such as you know, being responsible for the public face of the business, you know, no guarantee that your work will be successful, you know, not being sure of your brand reputation in your community. It's a lot. And it's no wonder as um, a lot of business owners and a lot of businesses don't succeed in the first few years after they get started. The pressure can be a lot to manage. While our responsibilities are very important, it's equally important to take care of our own mental awareness and our physical wellness as well. So how to do this will look differently for everyone, but here are some suggestions to test out and see if they work for you. First, you want to build your professional social, you know, professional support network. And now I'm not referring to a support network at home. That's important as well, but you need to build a, a, a support network in the workplace or around the workplace network and find other people either in your industry or other working professionals that can support you and encourage you professionally. This is going to help in the long run, not only with your mental health and your physical health, but it's also going to help just the stability of your company, especially when you find other people in under industries that can help your business grow. And always remember, the next step is to always remember the bigger picture. When things don't work out, which happens to all of us, it does no good for you to ment for your for your mental health or your physical health to dwell on it. Know that whatever you're experiencing today eventually will pass. And if you process it right, you can come out even stronger on the other end. So don't sweat the small stuff as it happens right now. Learn from it, build on it, grow from it, but don't dwell on it and act as if you're never going to overcome it. You will overcome it with time and experience and wisdom. And then the third step to help you through these times and, and strengthen your mental awareness and physical wellness is to nurture your life outside of work. Work is not your life and it shouldn't be your life. Most of us need to work to pay our bills and you can love your work and give it your all, but it's not your life. Family, friends, your trips, some of the hobbies you have, just relaxing on the sofa, enjoying time. That is what life is. When everything is said and done and you're at the end of your road and end of your journey, you know, you're not going to look back and say, my work was great. You're going to look back and really reflect on your loved ones. And so again, even if this is your own business, your own passion, it's not who you are. It's not your only life. And so make sure you have a balanced life of both work and your family and life outside of work, all right? So people who work at a desk all day are at a greater risk of developing neck, back, and shoulder pain, but they also have an increased risk of developing some anxiety disorders as well. So the modern office, as most of you know, they're not really designed for the human body, especially for extended long periods of time. That, that is why so many people have to put up with back and neck and spine injuries, as well as just mental health issues. So the first step to solving this problem is by creating a healthier workplace that includes aerodynamic 
aerodynamic desks, chairs, and equipment. And now all of these physical elements can and do have an impact on our mental health as well as if we aren't able to address them. So if you are you if you or your employer can't afford the ideal equipment to maximize your physical health, take a look at what you can do to change your setup. Maybe stand up and stretch during work. Take 5-minute meditation breaks to emotionally step away from work for a moment. Give your health, give your mind some mental space and consider not eating at your desk actually step away from your computer, take some time, maybe outside to eat and just enjoy the fresh air. Those are all going to go a long way in both your physical health by getting up and moving around and your mental health for just stepping away from the stress of work and giving your brain some time to relax. All right, so now entrepreneurs, marketers, content creators, we need to be healthy to stay productive. And these are some more tips I found that can help create a healthy work environment and make sure that you are able to take care of yourself. So, of course, exercise. It's important for us to exercise and because it helps keep us energized, focused, and creative. How and when you exercise is really up to you. You know your schedule, what works best for you. Personally, for me, morning workouts have the biggest impact on me emotionally, mentally, and physically. Um, but what that looks like for you is different. Just pick a time and, and make it work for you. The next is eating healthy. The foods that the foods you eat are going to affect your mood, your energy levels, and productivity. When the temptations and cravings for junk foods are strong, it, it you know it's it is possible to put those temptations down and grab some healthy foods instead. You just have to train, retrain your body to enjoy them more than those sugary junk foods. You also want to take breaks. I mentioned this earlier, so you know it must be really important. It is vital, vital to your health that you take breaks throughout the day so that you can come back more refreshed, more creative, and and just more flowing with with everything you need to do to be successful. And so it, it helps us, doing so it helps us create more creative uh, content and produce better quality work for our audiences. And the next step is if you can, if you have somebody to delegate to, delegate some tasks. Delegating tasks will give us more time to focus on what really, what we really enjoy doing the most and what we're most effective in. And it helps avoid the eventual burnout. Burnout really sucks. All right. So running your own business and being responsible or being responsible for a company's brand image, it's really hard. A lot to consider and many ways to experience pressure. It is important that we all are doing what we can to take care of ourselves first. Repeat after me, I come first and then my company. Now repeat it again as if you really mean it until, and then do it again and again until it really stinks, sticks. <laughs> I come first and then my company. And then take action to ensure you're taking care of yourself. Do some of these steps, exercise, eat healthy, take breaks, delegate some tasks, or even remove some tasks if they're not really necessary. Well, I truly do hope you enjoy this series. Yes, it's a bit more serious than my usual content, but I take mental health very seriously. And I want to ensure as you prepare to put yourself and your company online that you're doing it with care. Well, be sure to subscribe to our podcast, whether you're watching on YouTube or listening to it online. And please do us a favor and share this content with someone you know that could really benefit from the marketing tips and advice we're sharing. As always, our offer for one hour free marketing consultation is still available if you want your help on some help developing a solid content marketing strategy, and especially one that is more meaningful, more mindful of how your content is affecting yours and your followers' mental health. Until then, you guys have a great week and I will see you next Wednesday.